Hi there! Many old MeTV users have received the Android TV 9 update and many of those who have recently bought the new MeTVs which comes with it. I'm going to share some tips and tricks about the Android TV 9. Tips and tricks are basically features you might have missed out on and may come in handy. There are a couple of new features though a few tips and tricks in this video are already available on the Android TV 8 Oreo. Some of you might know them, some of you don't, which is fine. Just trying to help and guide so that everyone can enjoy the most of their devices. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. The handle names will be right here. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. So before we begin for this demo, I'm using the Mi TV 4X 43 inches, which is a 4K Mi TV. Timer. Now this feature was missing on the Android TV 8 Oreo. It comes most in handy when we watch TV at night and fall asleep. So this is basically a sleep timer which you can enable by going to the settings, device preferences and down to timer. Once set, the TV will turn off accordingly. You can set anywhere between 30 minutes and 240 minutes. Standby light. Now you must have noticed the small red indicator light that turns on briefly when we turn on or off our devices and then disappears. Now you can keep this light continuously on when the TV is turned off, letting us know if the TV is on standby mode. Could be really handy. To enable this, go to the settings, device preferences, power and standby light. Control SPDIF volume from the Mi TV remote. I'm sure many of you must be having the Mi soundbar. So on Android TV 8, when we would connect our Mi soundbar or any soundbar via SPDI for audio out, we couldn't control the volume via the Mi TV remote. Every time we had to adjust the volume, we would have to adjust it from the soundbar, which was such a pain. But now with Android 9, we can control the volume from the soundbar via the Mi TV remote. Only make sure you change the audio output to SPDIF in the audio settings. Screen off. Screen off can be enabled by holding the power button on the remote for 3 seconds. You'll see a pop-up on the right side of the display which will say power off, restart and screen off. Many a times we actually don't need to fully turn off our TV if we use it a couple of times a day. Just turn the screen off. There are two benefits of this. First, you don't need to wait for a long time for the TV to start which takes around a minute. You just press the power button when the TV is on off screen mode and it turns on instantaneously. Secondly, you can play any music app or even YouTube and turn off the display. The audio will continue playing. Have a look. Also, this saves a lot of electricity. Display consumes maximum power on TVs and if it's switched off, power consumption is almost negligible. Just like your mobile phones. Oh, by the way, this feature is also available on some Mi TV Pros running Android TV 8. So do check it out. Muting your TV. Well, we all miss that mute button on the remote, don't we? But just by talking to your Google Voice Assistant on your remote, you can mute it. Check it out. Mute. Turn on the volume. All right. And also, this is available on Mi TV Pros running the Android TV 8. Start your TV directly with the setup box. Well, booting your TV directly to your setup box or any source you wish, some really don't need those smart TV features. Just simple TV viewing experience on setup box. Well, to do that, firstly, identify the source you want to boot to. For this demo, I have a 4K Fire Stick connected to an HDMI 1, which I am going to use in my demo. In your case, it could be the setup box. So, let's go to the settings, inputs, write down, you will see, stay to the previous source. Turn it on. Let's go to the source. So, if you have a setup box, you will go to that source. Okay, let's restart it. And there you go. Directly without going to Patchwall or Android TV, it will boot to your setup box or Fire Stick or gaming console, anything you like. If you want to go to the Android TV interface, just press the O button on the remote. 
This feature is also available on some Mi TV Pros running Android TV 8. So here was the list guys. If I've missed out on something, which I'm sure I might have, kindly share them with us in the comments so that it helps everyone. Also, I'm sure some of you might already know these, so please don't go ranting in the comments. Actually, go ahead. Let me know what you know. I'll be happy. Feedbacks are always welcome. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and let me know. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.